About six months ago or so, I made a video showing you how to use your phone as a HDMI video monitor for your camera, or countless other HDMI devices for that matter. Massive thank you to everyone who's watched that. It's become by far my most popular video, and for good reason too. It's incredibly useful and incredibly cheap. A few people in the comments asked if there was a way to live stream from your phone using the HDMI input. And at the time, I couldn't find anything. But recently, I've discovered an app called Camerafy Live, and it lets you do just that. So, let's get straight into it. The hardware setup is exactly the same as the last video. For me, that's a HDMI cable plugged into my GH5, the infamous cheapo USB 2 capture card, USB-C OTG adapter, and my all reliable Huawei Mate 20 Pro. The only thing I really changed since the last video is that I swapped out the little small rig arm for this Andoa monitor mount. It's much more sturdy and well worth the 15 quid or so that it cost me. It even spins 360 so you can flip it around if you're filming yourself. So the app. In an ideal world I'd just be like, hey here's a link, off you go. But thanks to those pesky changes in Android 10, we're probably going to have to install an APK again. I know it sounds a bit sketchy, but I ran a Malwarebytes scan after installing, and everything is above board. Camerafy actually say that some Android 10 phones now have USB camera working straight from the App Store with their latest update, but unfortunately that wasn't the case for me. If you install the App Store version and plug in your capture card, it'll either work straight away, or you'll be prompted to download the APK version that works. So you can either follow the link, or you can click the link in the description, scroll down to the download link and click on that. Install the APK and we're good to go. My phone wouldn't let me download it in Chrome due to security settings, but I found Firefox worked. Worst case scenario, you can download it on your PC and transfer it over. Camerafy Live has built-in support for all the popular streaming services, and it's pretty easy to use. I was surprised to find it has built-in support for solutions like Wowzer and Restream, so there's potential to use this for some serious commercial gigs. Awesome stuff. To get up and running, select camera at the top, then choose your streaming platform from the list below. If it's not supported, you can still do it. You'll just need to use the RTMP mode and enter your address and stream key like you do on a program like OBS. Turn on your camera, hook it up, and press start at the bottom. You should have some dialog boxes pop up like this asking if you want to switch to the USB camera and audio. Click yes on both unless you want to use a different audio source. Hit go and if you're using RTMP you'll go live instantly. But if you're using one of the other platforms it should give you a chance to share the link or change the thumbnail before you go live. Once you're ready just hit go again. The free version of the app has a small watermark at the bottom right, as you can see in my test stream. Unfortunately, the premium version is a little steep at $7.49 a month or $65.99 for the year. I mean, it all depends on what you're using it for. For my YouTube, I'm not that bothered about the watermark. And if it's commercial work, well, tacking $7.49 on the bill is nothing. So it could be worse. There's also a one month free trial at the moment, so it's easy enough to try it out. There's a bunch of cool features built into the app. The chat overlay for YouTube is pretty nice looking, and it's easy to set up a picture-in-picture -picture with either your phone screen or multiple cameras. There's also video filters, countdown timers, and BRB graphics, which is very handy. A fair few of the features are behind the paywall, but a lot of the useful stuff is free anyway. I've been testing this setup quite a bit. If you're a subscriber, you might have caught the e-bike stream already, but if not, I'll link it below. Anyways, I've been really impressed by the performance. The coolest part, in my opinion, is that the setup allows you to stream over 4G with a tiny little rig, something that not long ago would have required ridiculously expensive equipment from a brand like Teradek. Streaming performance in that situation, of course, is pretty dependent on your phone signal. For me, I found that 720p low settings was super reliable, but when connected to Wi-Fi, 1080p medium worked great. I still need to test more, but yeah, this is gonna be different for everyone, depending on your location and your network provider. This setup opens so many opportunities for live streaming and it's got me really excited. I'd love to hear what you plan to do with it in the comments. Aside from the GH5, I also picked up a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter and tested it out with my GoPro. I wanted to do some POV e-bike streams, but unfortunately my test room was too dark to see anything and it's been raining ever since. 
so I'll probably give that a go in the near future. But I'm happy to report that the GoPro works really well, and I think it's a pretty awesome option for IRL streamers. Another cool idea I thought of is a setup similar to DSLR Video Shooter's 8M Mini flight case build, but swapping out the monitor for an Android tablet. Then you could have a tiny portable 4 input live streaming station that would be perfect for streaming conferences, weddings or whatever else, even if they took place in the middle of the woods. Let me know if you think this is a good idea, I'm very tempted to give this one a go. So that about wraps this one up. I'm continually amazed at the possibilities of this 10 quid capture card. It really is a game changing bit of kit. Hope you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe so you don't miss future projects and I'll catch you all in the next one. Toodles.